Down on the southernmost tip of Alaska's panhandle is Ketchikan, a sleepy little town steeped in history and captivating tales of old times. Known as the salmon capital of the world, Ketchikan attracts travelers for its thriving fishing industry and offers many opportunities to fish salmon or watch salmon jump upstream. For the next 48 hours, we'll be exploring the charming streets of Ketchikan before showcasing the many onboard amenities and experiences of the world-famous Alaska cruise. In Ketchikan, there is this famous experience you can't miss out on. It's called the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. They guarantee you a rowdy good time, and essentially, we'll be watching two lumberjack teams compete with chopping, sawing, tree climbing, and log rolling, all sorts of fun activities. We're gonna pack up all of our stuff, head into the city, and get ourselves a seat at this Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show. watching the Great Alaskan Lumberjack Show and I really love that they actually pit like the audience against each other. There oh, was yeah. like this tribalism between it. Yeah, so on one side you have Spruce Mill, which was USA, and then on the other side you had Dawson Creek, which was Canada. We were seated on Dawson Creek, so we were cheering on the Canadian yeah. Lumberjacks. And they did some really impressive stuff. Not only were they chopping wood and sawing, they did some carving with a chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> he made a little bunny rabbit. And my favorite part was actually watching them climb this tree. They did it so fast. They're like little spider monkeys going yeah. up there. I was like, whoa, that's insane. Insane. It kind of reminded me of that scene in Twilight when Edward's climbing the tree, but it was like real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that that's what it reminds you of. Yeah, what did it remind you well, of? Well, like growing up, I was in Boy Scouts and I actually had like these spikes on my shoes once when oh. I was going backpacking and they had like this tree climbing thing. So I climbed a tree just like they did. Really? That fast? Not that fast. <laughs> no. Okay, kind of like they did, I suppose. <laughs> but it was crazy watching them slide down the tree and stuff. I but, know. Yeah, that was a really fun tour. Well, worth the the value is Absolutely. definitely there mm -hmm. but i think we're gonna move on and explore the rest of ketchikan yeah i love that i'm in such a good mood now yeah <laughs> it's the perfect fun. way to start the day and also i wore flannel to to match the lumberjacks i did not <laughs> you you look like you yes. know you dress for the theme okay yeah. okay In the very heart of Ketchikan is Creek Street, a historic row of buildings seated high on wooden boardwalks. It was once the notorious red light district of the town during the gold rush era, and we're walking past what used to be old brothels, bars, and entertainment venues that catered to the needs of loggers, miners, and fishermen during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Just off of Creek Street is Married Man's Trail, which is named that because this is often a path that a lot of men would take to go and meet up with the working women of Creek Street. Um, they wanted to use this trail because it went through the woods. It was a little bit more discreet. The path is actually really pretty. We've got all these really tall trees just going up towards the sky. And on my left, the creek, of course, is running. And I can see some salmon jumping up, trying to make it upstream. back 
on this ship after a long day of exploring Ketchikan. We were actually dressed all up nice and fancy because mm -hmm. it's evening chic night, which means you are required to dress a little bit <laughs> nicer. I still have my tennis shoes on though. <laughs> yeah, this is like the first time we honestly packed any nicer outfits for yeah. a trip. Um, and so it's been fun, you know, getting mm -hmm. a little glamorous, I guess you could say. But for the next 36 hours, we're actually going to be riding on the boat nonstop all the way down to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. The final stop mm -hmm. of the trip, and I believe the boat is leaving in about two minutes, which yeah. is always super fun because you feel the boat starting to move. Yeah, or sometimes you don't even feel it move. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And you just look out the window and everything else is moving. Right. right. Tonight, apparently, we're going to be having a really nice feast. I think they're serving lobster, mm -hmm. which I'm very excited about. And if not lobster, filet mignon. <laughs> mm, always so good. <laughs> yeah. Cheers! So Ryan here has been ordering a lot of virgin pina coladas on this trip, and I have been joining him, and they are really good. I never realized how good they were. This is probably like your what? Only like my fourth. Fourth. <laughs> this one, on the other hand, has probably had about... Ten, at least. like something, you can just keep ordering more and more. And so I got another round of the lobster. I actually got steak with it. And we're gonna share it amongst three people. Actually, I'm gonna eat all the lobster and then Chad and Ryan are going to share this nice piece of filet mignon. <laughs> Greetings from our final sailing day on board the SS Millennium. Um, because we don't really have too many activities planned for the day, I wanted to go around the ship and give you guys a tour of some of my favorite spots on board and also just show you like the sheer quantity of the number of bars that they have here because I just think it's very impressive and kind of funny. Let's see, where should I take you guys first? I guess I'm already walking to one of my favorite spots, so we'll start with that. So the first room that I've stopped at is called the Solarium, which is the indoor swimming pool, and it has two hot tubs as well. And it's really nice because it's kind of like an indoor greenhouse. It definitely has like the, the sound of a terrarium or like some sort of garden or something. So I love basking in the light in here because it's actually really warm. Now I'm gonna take you outside to the outdoor pool. After leaving the solarium, I am now outside on the outdoor jogging track, which goes around, I believe this is the top floor of the ship, and you can overlook the four hot tubs and two swimming pools that are down below. A lot of people are actually enjoying those today because it's a lot sunnier than it has been pretty much the whole trip. And I have to say, it is really calm water today. Everyone is out and about and it's really nice. So I'm now following the jogging track to one of the even higher points on board this ship, which is where you can go and play some basketball and pickleball. And we haven't been able to do that yet on the trip, but I am hopefully going to be able to play this afternoon. So I've now made it to the back of the ship where they actually have an onboard outdoor movie theater. And I was always wondering like, how are they gonna play movies during the day? But it actually has this super bright LED lights that are able to make it so you can actually watch the movie during the day, which is pretty sweet, especially in sunny weather just like this. I've now gotten off the elevator to the fifth floor where they have a full like espresso cafe and you can also get like gelato and ice cream. So 
the next place that I did not spend too much time is like their onboard shopping mall. They have several different shops, each with like a different theme. One over here is like jewelry and bags and things. And this is if you were to keep on walking through the uh, cafe, like this is what happens. And then onward, I'm gonna show you the theater. The theater, which looks closed. So sadly the theater was closed because I think they're rehearsing for tonight's show. Oh, never mind, it's open. Thousand is gone, everybody. Everybody say, "Oh no, that's so kind." Life goes on. So we just walked through the theater and it looked like they had a deal or no deal show going on, which looked honestly like a lot of fun. But what surprised me about going to the theater for the first time is it is absolutely massive. And then as you exit the theater, you can go through the casino and the art gallery, which were both popping today since it is a sailing day. So a lot of people were out. Um, but now we have made it to the Rendezvous Lounge, which is where they have live music at night and you can get drinks and obviously you can look out and see the view out the windows outside. So this is a pretty cool area on the ship where you can see three floors. So right up there is actually the old um, Italian cafe that you could see earlier. And then this is where like the DJ will come and play music at night because you have the casino, you have a bar here, you have that bar upstairs. And I believe, yeah, right downstairs is like guest services and it's where we get on and get off of the ship anytime that we dock. Quick little check in on Claire to see how she's doing. She is loving her afternoon inside. But I'm actually gonna go out one more time because I forgot to show you guys the main Ocean View Cafe. All right, so what's cool about their Ocean View Cafe is it's literally like a big loop. So you can walk all the way around and there are options on all sides. And it really like keeps on going. You can really make a lot of laps. So I'm currently coming out where it's a little bit too early for dinner, so they haven't put everything out, but they have a few things out. But you can kind of get a sense of what's going on here. Thank you all for joining us here in Alaska. We have had such an incredible trip and I already know I can't wait to come back because there's just so much more that Alaska has to offer. Um, but I think for the rest of the day, we're just gonna be relaxing on board the ship as we watch the sunset and as we slowly sail towards port where we'll be uh, landing in Vancouver tomorrow morning. So with all of that, thank you guys so much for following along and we look forward to sharing more adventures in the future. All right, talk soon, bye.